Hey guys, I'm here and welcome to day 4 of the Fragrancy Perfume Challenge. If you missed the other days, there'll be linked down the description to a place where you can catch up on all of that and also links to info on how you can join up on this challenge. Alright guys, on to today's quote and today's quote is 3 fragrances you'll love to have. And honestly, this was really hard for me to do because I have so many fragrances on my buy list and it's really difficult to narrow it down to my favorite three but i finally did so here they are these fragrances are not in any particular order in any way they're just the three best fragrances that i've ever smelled that i don't have in my collection yet first one we have melody l'amour by Decida perfume and this one is probably one of the most beautiful most alluring white floral fragrance that i ever smelled it's an assortment of white floral mixed with this very mouth-watering honey and it's not a harsh synthetic kind of honey as well it's very natural smelling floral kind of honey so so gorgeous and the reason it says best in the world is because i honestly can't imagine a white floral fragrance getting any better than this a definite must try for anyone who loves white florals and this one is on the top of my buy list for sure next one we have ombre sauvage by anique Coutal, and this one is such a warm inviting amber vanilla fragrance guys i really can't put into words how much i love this fragrance it's just so so gorgeous and the first time i smelled this i remember thinking that it's probably like the most perfect fragrance ever for the winter time it's warm it's resiny with a kick of spices and a rich vanilla background and the vanilla in this one is not overly sweet as well which is perfect when it wants to be i can see myself wearing this on a walk in the snow or even cuddling with a girl at home on movie nights it's just a beautiful fragrance it's so so perfect for those kind of vacations and I don't know what else to say. I just <laughs> love it, love it, and love it. Last but certainly not least, we have Rosario Air by Prin Parfum. And this one is a really nice spice rose fragrance. And I think besides Cassini from the House of Matriarch, this is probably one of the best. In terms of scent, this does go in the same direction as Cassini, but with Cassini, you're gonna get a more dark, more sophisticated rose fragrance that's more akin to the evening time. With this one, you're gonna get a brighter spice rose fragrance, which to me, Honestly, what it smells like is it smells like a daytime version of Kasimi, which is why I really, really want to get it because I love Kasimi. I love it, but I just can't bring myself to wear it during the daytime because to me, it just smells like an evening fragrance. It smells like a special occasion, evening, maybe a date fragrance, but I have yet to have a rose fragrance for the daytime. And this is where this fills the gap. And if you're like me and you want a rose fragrance for both the daytime and the nighttime, this one and Kasimi are the two best duo you're ever gonna find out in the fragrance world, at least in my opinion. So yeah guys, if you're a fan of rose fragrances or you like Kasimi by the House of Matriarch, definitely give this one a try. You're most likely gonna love it. I know I really love it and I can't wait to have a bottle of this to complete my rose collection. Alright guys, that's it for day 4. I hope you enjoy watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of these fragrances and also which three fragrances are on the top of your buy list. I'm always excited to hear what you guys have to say and as always, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't. It really, really helps me out and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 5. Bye!